Everybody, this is Andrew Guy for AndrewGuySpeaks.com. I am coming to you from the crib right now. That's right, man. I am coming to you live from the crib. So I'm about to hit the track. Obviously, see, I dress up in my running outfit and everything like that. I'm about to do some workout for the morning. All right, so listen, I wanted to stop by and just to say what's up to my people. And just to encourage you, I wanted to just inoculate you, put some positive words inside your heart to help you throughout this week. Now, listen. I have been posting some stuff um, recently about how to deal with negative people, negative, um, we call them haters or doubters, people who come to derail you. I want to encourage you to let you know that um, if you didn't have negative people in your life, you wouldn't have a reason to be positive. And I also want to say that um, if you don't have negative experiences or negative people, or let's be straight up, if you don't have haters, then guess what? You're one of them, all right? But our goal is never to focus on the negative people. Our goal is never to focus on the haters. Our goal really is to live our life as an example so that when the haters see this, then you know what? They will be transformed. Jesus put it like this. He said, let your light so shine. The so in this part means, listen, I want you to make it shine so bright that they won't even be able to deny you when they see it, right? So all things are possible, and I'm just here to encourage you. I'm also going to be reading something from, well, of course, one of my favorite books. Here we go. Work Your Words and Finding Your Pathway to Personal Success by, guess what? None other than, yeah, that's right, Andrew E. Guy. And so this morning, the reading is coming from um, this chapter we're talking about. How to have success through relationships. How do we have effective relationship and use them for our success right so we're talking about a symbiotic relationship where it's not just one person benefiting it's both parties benefiting right so here we go it says success through relationships remember things never change until you do and the vision never dies only people without one do Begin by developing relationships with people who honestly care about you and are motivated to see you succeed. Most times, you will find that making it means more to you, more to them, than the very words that they use to motivate you. Having the right people in your corner is like having the key to a treasure chest. They will help you gain access to new opportunities, open doors, and are there to give you the constructive feedback that are imperative for you to advance. They will tell you the truth regardless of the temporary pain you feel. They will not sugarcoat the facts, especially when it comes to your growth. Listen, that's a piece of reading coming from Work Your Words and Finding Your Pathway to Personal Success. I'm going to be doing that uh, um, every now and again. Just kind of pop up and, and give you something positive for your day. I'm right here at home right now. As you see, I have all my jogging stuff. I don't have on my suit or anything like that. So I'm just, this is my downtime. I'm working on my next book right now. So I just want to take some time out between typing and hitting the road to make sure I get the cardio. And I'm going out right now to work out for a little bit. I'm going to put in about 30 minutes hardcore today. Hard stuff. All right, and then after I come back in and then I hit the books again so that's kind of what I'm doing right now this time in between speaking and traveling I'm going to be just hitting the books and working on my next book and that should be coming out hopefully by this summer right or late summer but it's going to be hitting the shelf this summer so you better stay tuned for that it's going to be power what full that's right full like the big old eyes alright so listen this is Andrew guys I just want to encourage you to create your greatest impact in the four most important areas of your life. That's it. That's it. That's my purpose in life. That is to help you, to motivate you, to inspire you to create, to create, to create your greatest impact. Impact, as I said before when I had my last show last week, was that it's like creating a footprint that when someone stands inside that footprint, guess what happened? It never overshadows the next person. Impact also empowers other people to be themselves. Impact also means that when someone follows you, they're not overcrowded or empowered by your shadow. They are still able to be themselves, know their identity, and to, guess what? To stretch and walk in their own shell. Let's say they were a turtle or something like that, but obviously you're not a turtle. You're a bunny rabbit, man. You're moving. You're a gazelle. You're moving. You're getting ready to change the world through your action. Why? How are you going to change the world? 
You're going to change the world when you know who you are. I often say, if you don't know who you are, then any identity will do. And remember this, everyone, everyone is gifted at something and you're just like a package. Uh, most people just simply never open theirs. And I'm saying to you today that you can have Christmas any day, every day, all day, 365 days a year. How? Just open your package. Who is the package? You. You are the package. You need to spend some alone time with yourself, hanging out with yourself. Get to know your idiosyncrasies. What makes you thick? What, what makes you excited? What gets you going? These are the things you need to know. Because if you don't know who you are, then guess what? Any identity will do. And if you don't know where you're going, Dr. Miles Monroe said that. Any road will get you there. This is your boy, Andrew. Quick reading from Work Your Words and Finding Your Pathway to Personal Success. So guess what? When you know the words that you're working and you work the right words, they'll give you right results. I just stopped by to say what's up to give you some power for your day. And remember, create your greatest impact before you die. Because guess what? You only have one opportunity. You have many opportunities with the one life that you have to create what? Your greatest impact. Tony the Tiger from the Kellogg's um, Corn Flakes, you say, great. On that note, I got to go. I'll see you later. Peace.